The Septuagint, Sirach, chapter 33. There shall no evil happen unto him that feareth the Lord, but in temptation even again he will deliver him. A wise man hateth not the law, but he that is an hypocrite therein is as a ship in a storm. A man of understanding trusteth in the law, and the law is faithful unto him as an oracle. Prepare what to say, and so thou shalt be heard, and bind up instruction, and then make answer. The heart of the foolish is like a cartwheel, and his thoughts are like a rolling axle tree. A stallion horse is as a mocking friend, he nayeth under every one that sitteth upon him. Why doth one day excel another, when as all the light of every day in the year is of the sun? By the knowledge of the Lord they were distinguished, and he altered seasons and feasts. Some of them hath he made high days and hallowed them, and some of them hath he made ordinary days. And all men are from the ground, and Adam was created of earth. In much knowledge the Lord hath divided them, and made their ways diverse. Some of them hath he blessed and exalted, and some of them he sanctified, and set near himself. But some of them hath he cursed and brought low, and turned out of their places. As the clay is in the potter's hand, to fashion it at his pleasure. So man is in the hand of him that made him, to render to them as liketh him best. Good is set against evil, and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. I awaked up last of all, as one that gathereth after the grape gatherers. By the blessing of the Lord I profited, and tread my winepress like a gatherer of grapes. Consider that I labored not for myself only, but for all them that seek learning. Hear me, O ye great men of the people, and hearken with your ears ye rulers of the congregation. Give not thy son and wife, thy brother and friend, power over thee while thou livest. And give not thy goods to another, lest it repent thee, and thou entreat for the same again. As long as thou livest, and hast breath in thee, give not thyself over to any. For better it is that thy children should seek to thee than that thou shouldest stand to their courtesy. In all thy works keep to thyself the preeminence. Leave not a stain in thine honor. At the time when thou shalt end thy days and finish thy life, distribute thine inheritance. Fodder, a wand, and burdens are for the ass and bread, correction, and work for a servant. If thou set thy servant to labor, thou shalt find rest. But if thou let him go idle, he shall seek liberty. A yoke and a collar do bow the neck. So are tortures and torments for an evil servant. Send him to labor that he be not idle for idleness teacheth much evil. Set him to work as is fit for him. If he be not obedient, put on more heavy fetters. But be not excessive toward any, and without discretion do nothing. If thou have a servant, let him be unto thee as thyself, because thou hast bought him with a price. If thou have a servant, entreat him as a brother, 
for thou hast need of him, as of thine own soul. If thou entreat him evil, and he run from thee, which way wilt thou go to seek him?